All right, today we're gonna go over on how to make this bowling bag. Start out by cutting all your pieces out. A lot of the parts are spread out amongst multiple sheets, which you're gonna have to tape together. I'm using four to six millimeter veg tan leather for this project. Taped a small plastic bag around my hole punch to prevent a bunch of small particles flying all over the place. More pliable parts of the bag are made of chrome tan leather. This is about three to four millimeters thick. Here I'm using a stamp that represents snake skin. Just so you know, if you decide to do this route, it's gonna take a while. Using the edge beveler, I'm going around all the edges, rounding them out. Then I wet down the edges and burnish them off. At this stage, I'm just using water. my straps I decided to use a stitch groover add a little design to the edges I'm using a dark chocolate brown for pro dye on the main portion of the pieces and for the chrome tan pieces I'm using just plain black Here I finalize the edges using some tokenol. For the top coat, some resiline. Seal everything in. After it's been drying for about 10 minutes, rub it clean with a dry cloth. About these little feet, uh, they're usually made for purses, but this works. This will be the base of the bag. And since bowling balls are pretty heavy, I decided to put multiple on the bottom. Here, you'll see that I already wet formed the handle pieces. So they're relatively formed in the shape that I wanted them. Taking some large cement and took a quarter inch rope Put that into the handle. Burn off the tips using my thread zapper. Installing the zipper, I'm using some bar cement so it will stay in place as I stitch it into place.
I'm using a D loop here. Using some medium sized rivets. Now when stitching this down, only stitch down the top and the bottom rows because you'll stitch that down when you sew the main body of the bag together. Move it down the handle pieces. Stitching down the bottom of the bag to the chrome tan piece. Once you got one side done, stitch together the other side. When you're done, you should have a large loop. All right, so time to stitch on the pocket. Multiple different sections. Could be kind of tricky. But first we'll start out with this piece. Be sure to fold over the bottom. And we've got this small piece right here to keep everything together. And you'll have a cross stitch. You should have something like this. Once that's done, find the middle of the pouch and start stitching it into place. Now if you stamped a pattern on your bag, make sure the pattern's facing the right way and not upside down. That would look goofy. Now for this piece, I decided to start from the top instead of the bottom. Figured it would be easier to get to everything once I worked my way around. So now time to stow on the main body. So find the middle hole to the middle of the section of the bag. Just go all the way around. For the other side, I'm starting from the top. Again, just easier to get to the needles once you start to finish up. Okay, so with the bag itself done, 
let's work on the interior piece that will hold the ball. I'm just using half inch foam mat for this. Nice. And for a solid base of support, I decided to cut out a thick plastic sheet. Something durable that will be more solid as a base than just foam. And the foam will sit on top. All right, now time for the shoulder strap. I'm using a quarter inch foam piece. some barred cement to glue it down. Got a couple different layers to this. Essentially you're going to sandwich everything together. stitch down the border all the way around. Might look kind of weird at first, but everything will work itself out once you get everything in place. Make sure to work this strap through the shoulder strap you just made first before riveting everything down. Because otherwise you might have a difficult time sliding everything through. Which you'll see me having to do in a bit. And there you have it, you got yourself a bowling bag. Now let's go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> 